It's time to talk about something a little absurd, and it is the Griffin Knight plus the Frost Brand Tome. First of all, what is the Frost Brand Tome? It is a witch item that does this. So, for two passive points, you get Ice Conferral, activates before allies' physical attack, an active one, adds magic, damage, and freeze to the next attack, 50 potency. So it's basically magic conferral, but it also freezes. Now, ordinarily, if you were to use this on someone who just single hits, it just freezes a single foe. But with the Griffin Knight, we actually have a really good reason to run this now. And that is the AOE freeze that can also target the back line because Griffin Knight's high swing is considered ranged. So it can swing on the back line. And to demo this, Let's go to one of the most obnoxious fights in the game. Now, before they get their boost, we're going to wild rush the boss so it doesn't get defense buffed. This is a very crazy fight. But I'm going to show the utility here. Alright, so first let's organize. Uh, let me change pursuit to not hit frozen. This is very important for this team comp. So combat status, not frozen. Alright, All right, now we have damage. And then for Clive... That's fine, the back row with this, and then for this, prioritize surprising. So she will freeze something. Or actually, no, that's correct. This is correct. We want to remove Ice Bolt back row. We want Ice Bolt front row. And then for this, what you can do to get it to always target the correct ally is you want to target back row, in the case of the Griffin in the back row, and then combat type flyer. All right, so here's the result we're getting. Now, we do take 28 damage. We might be getting killed by a range assist. Let's find out. <laughs> we shouldn't be, though. But this is one of the most obnoxious enemy team comps in the game. All right, we don't get killed by the range assist. All right, so high swing, ice conferral. She does debuff with quick curse, just minus 20% damage, but we freeze their back line. They're frozen as long as they don't get hit, too. All right, and then shield smite. So she hits a guy. And then we assaulting lance. Now he can assaulting lance. All right, so that's actually lower than pursuit. But this allows you to freeze either row. And then check this out. Now he's frozen. Misses the dodge tank. <laughs> now let me, there's other things going on here too. And then a debuff. He heals. And then assaulting lance into pursuit. wing rest and then they catch a heal from the support all right so let's go over what's going on here actually we're about to kill these guys those are easy to kill though it's just gonna hit them in the back of the line freeze them and then they die all right so let's go over what's going on so how does this work because griffin knight has low initiative so it needs a specific thing so here is the build now the broke axe this was during a chat sabotage run where people were super chatting me to run terrible things so you will have a better axe. You pretty much should run the best axe you have access to. Uh, so in this case, I probably could run Rose Knight Axe, which is just slightly more damage and more initiative. So this actually would be better. Uh, actually, I actually didn't notice I had that until just now. <laughs> but you should run your best axe. You want Dove Plume, which you can get for free from recruiting the Shaman in the bottom right of the map. And then you want to get the Frostbrand Tome, which you get from visiting the Witch's Tower. So I'll show where everything is, uh, but this is the basic setup is these two, and you freeze the back line. Uh, Dove Plume, and then the Rose Knight Axe actually does give you more initiative and accuracy, which was one of the issues because she had 85 hits, but now she has much higher hit rate. Uh, the freeze damage, like the damage from the Ice Conferral is pretty big. And then of course you can always remove this and just have a basic magic conferral going if you don't need the freeze. So if you just want to have two damage boosts be applied, you can have her, you can have your witch just magic conferral uh, the griffin. Uh, this particular squad, this isn't like the best squad ever, but it is pretty close to being one of the better team comps out there. Now, the only issue really are archers and true hits but this can Holy Guard with uh, like Holy Knight Shield. So you can just give yourself some kind of tanking, block an attack. So there's different ways of dealing with problems. 
uh, but pursuance bracelets plus this this is a completely different combo this is the key of the video here is this combo here uh, this gives you initiative as well usually a little bit more to freeze other backliners like other mages and stuff but essentially what we're doing is we're stacking initiative on an aoe unit who can attack the backline and then applying a freeze debuff to them so that we freeze every single backline no matter what it is and you can also change what she attacks so if you want to high swing something else you can do that now you unfortunately cannot use the magic or i'm sorry the ice conferral twice because it does cost two passive points and essentially the witch only has one plus another one from lapis pendant so if we could multi high swing and multi freeze you could just freeze the front and the back row we would but at the very least you get to ice bolt a single target to freeze it so you can ice bolt whatever target you want really and change that target and then you get to freeze an entire row so you basically get to freeze like two to three enemies maybe four if you hit up the three with the aoe attack so pretty interesting combo i think like we were kind of figuring this out on chat like on this live stream someone is like wait does this work with multi-hit like someone asked that question so then we tested it and then it does and that kind of is how this was produced through like collaboration of just like curiosity and seeing what works but this is a pretty good build actually this gives griffin i think at least a place in like high a tier maybe even s tier in the demo because freezing anything like you have to understand like some of these enemy team comps are really ridiculous like the backliners so being able to just target them with super high initiative and freeze them before they can even do anything just gives you such a huge advantage then combining with anything you know like assaulting lance uh, shield smite spiral sword spam pursuit spam just combining basic things allows you to clean up and kill and also you have really good cav damage you have really good magic damage from this you have uh kill repeats from assaulting lance triggering you have a lot of actions through this unit uh, she can also run lapis uh amulets so that she can spam pursuit more and also she can holy guard and of course she can always accelerate herself if that's something you need so if something moves before her she gets initiative plus 20 accuracy plus 30 but pretty good team comp pretty fun you can directly dive bosses as you can see here so like we almost have the kill already just from this now they're about to get hit with a buff but let's just see where this plays out let's just see how this plays out so guard call this is why you want to rush this boss immediately it gets a 20 percent damage reduction if you don't from those holy knights uh looks like someone might die so let's heal there look at that damage <laughs> oh my god let's see let's check this out and the, the, keep in mind this is a level 12 battle level 11 or level 12 some of these aren't even level 10 in this team i think my flyer is level 7 but look at this usually what happens if you don't freeze these is they start giving you damage minus 50 percent debuff yeah, then she attacks guard down so in damage increase on physical to anyone whacking that salting lance huge damage pursuits he's gonna assaulting lance kill there oh very likely we'll have to do yeah ice bolts she doesn't pursue frozen shield smite <laughs> defense down i don't know if that stacks you at least get defense minus 20 and assaulting lance kills uh salting lance You'll love to see these things die. They're so obnoxious, dude. <laughs> Pursuit. All right, then they just do offensive curse. But killing this team is actually no small feat. So if an under level, yeah, look at this, level 10, level seven, level nine on like scuffed weapons as well, without using the offensive or the defensive draught to boost our damage even more and defense, which would allow us to easily kill. Uh, we actually have the kill if we can make it. Uh, we're probably gonna bounce these guards off of us these guys think they're hot to trot but <laughs> they're about to get wasted here let's just aoe heal just to make sure uh for this team so what's gonna happen so she's high swinging back row all we have to do is just remove that condition and they're gonna die <laughs> so they're just gonna get killed by the high swing immediately which is kind of nice actually because like i had an issue with running these things because it wasn't clear they could do more than just like kill calves but now that we have this AOE freeze, they essentially are the delivery vehicle of an AOE shutdown, which is huge. And that actually is something that matters. I did sell all of my smoked nuts uh, because 
<laughs> this is actually because part of the chat sabotage. <laughs> because they were banned. So imagine that we <laughs> have enough stamina to kill this. We easily have the kill here. It's just that I sold all my smoke nuts because this is a chat sabotage playthrough. But this is where we came up with this, this idea. Uh, all right, let me show you where these things are. Unfortunately, I sold all my smoke nuts. So, all right, let's return to Overworld. I'll show you where to get the items briefly. All right. Also, we have five minutes left. Okay, so you get the shaman from here, way over here. She gets you your dove plume. That's key to this. And then for the witch's tome, you go to La Bouge Hamlet, and then you actually just go up to this. Can I visit that? Or try to visit that. All right. Yeah, you go up to this and hit A, and that's where you get the ice tome from. And then you will, of course, in order to use the damn or <laughs> use the thing, <laughs> in order to use it, you're going to need a lapis pendant because witch defaults to one passive point. So with lapis pendant, you can frost brand AOE. And then, of course, if you want to just go for magic conferrals, if you don't need the freeze, you can always switch this out uh, for something. If you have an extra carnelian, then you get a second freeze through ice bolt. Uh, and then you get two magic conferrals and two ice bolts, which is pretty huge utility also because it gets you teleport. So it basically gives you everything you could ever want and more. You can teleport to other things, like to other units. So if you have a unit just run up to the boss that can't kill, like maybe a horse that can make it there because the road speed is insane. Uh, and then you just teleport to that and then just kill the boss. That's a thing you can do. You can also just teleport around the map. Uh, gravity can be used so that you can rest to reset stamina points. Very useful to do that as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty crazy team, pretty fun. Uh, I do think the archer weakness is kind of a problem to some degree, but it actually almost isn't because you basically just kill them with offense, right? It would be a problem if you couldn't freeze them. <laughs> but if the back line of the enemy team has three archers, you just simply freeze them all. <laughs> and then if they have like an enemy tank that's trying to block, you can also freeze that. Uh, but the only thing that could happen is... If the, let's say there's like a guard in front, like a fighter or something, and three archers, and one of the archers gets blocked by the AOE, so two get frozen and then the guard gets frozen, you could have the witch target unfrozen and backline to freeze that to like spot freeze them. Then you might eat an arrow though, so that's the thing that gets suspect. But in that case, you could drop uh, a lane or sorry, Clive and sub in like a lane or something for arrow guard because if it's just one arrow getting through, you just need someone to block. Also, she can block it too. She can actually block an arrow if you have a shield on her that can block, or if she's level 15 and she has a denural de de guard or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this interesting, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.